Hi there, I am Lindsay with Off the Beaten Hook. I am going to walk you through how to make my Ivy Infinity scarf in this video tutorial. Make sure you go check out the blog for the free pattern. This tutorial will walk you through how to make the stitch and the repeat row, but you want the full copy of the pattern in order to complete it entirely and to know all the materials that you'll need to make the scarf. I used a deliciously squishy soft yarn by Malabrigo. It's a bulky weight yarn, 100% merino wool. And the stitch used in the pattern creates this beautifully textured, thick, warm fabric. The scarf is super beginner friendly. It comes together really quick using this bulky weight yarn. It only uses two skeins of the yarn that I used. And just a quick disclaimer so you're not confused, I do use a totally different yarn in the tutorial. So it's still the scarf, it's still the same stitch. I just didn't want you to get thrown off by that. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me, thank you. So let's dive in. All right, so let's get going. So the stitch multiple for this fabric is three, plus two. So you're going to chain any number of three plus two. So for this example, I am going to do a small swatch that you can use this stitch for lots of different sizes for your fabric. And I am going to chain 20. One, two, three, 19, 20. Okay. So you are going to make your shell, your very first shell, in the second chain from the hook. Okay, so skip that very first chain. And in the second chain, you're going to make a shell. A shell consists of one single crochet and two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so for your very first stitch, you're gonna skip your, your first chain. And in the second chain, I'm using the back bump. I'm going to place one single crochet. And then I'm gonna do two double crochets into that same chain. One, two, and that is your first shell. Okay, so moving along the chain, you're gonna skip the next two chains and do another shell in the next stitch. So skipping those two chains and placing one single crochet and two double crochets into that same chain. Then I'm going to skip the next two chains and do another shell. And that is what you're gonna do all the way across up until you get to the last stitch. So you're gonna do one single crochet and two double crochets after skipping two chains. Okay, so again, we're gonna skip the next two and place one single crochet and two double crochets in this next stitch. Okay, again, skip the next two and then place a shell in the next stitch. Okay, so make your way across and I'll meet you towards the very end and I'll show you how to finish off this setup row. All right, I've just made my last shell of the row and what I have left is three more chains. So just as we've been going along, I'm gonna skip these next two and instead of doing a full shell in the last chain, you're simply gonna make one single crochet in that very last chain. Okay, that is your first row. That is your foundation row, okay? So now you're going to chain one and turn. For row two, I'll do this with you. This is your one row repeat. So you're gonna, we're gonna do row two together and I'll do another row with you just so you can see how it builds. And then that is the repeat row that you do for your entire pattern. Okay, so let's get going together, all right? So you've got this very first single crochet. You are going to place a shell right in that very first single crochet, okay? So we've chained one and we turned and we're gonna place a, a, a shell straight away in this very first stitch of the row, okay? So a single crochet and two double crochets. All right, now, just sort of like we did with our chain, you're gonna skip two and place your shell in that next stitch. 
And so what this is, is you're skipping the two double crochets and you're placing your shell into the single crochets. And that's what you're gonna do all the way across. So just to give you a visual here, you can kind of see how it creates this kind of bumpy texture. You're gonna be skipping the two double crochets and placing your shell in this single crochet, kind of at the valley of these two bumps. Skipping the double crochets, placing your shell in the single crochet, skipping over. So as you get used to it, you'll find that you don't even have to count the stitches. You're just gonna be able to see exactly where that, that shorter single crochet is, and that's where you're gonna be placing your shells. All right, so I'll get going with you here, okay? So you're gonna skip over those two double crochets and place your shell in this single crochet right here. So single crochet and two double crochets into that single crochet from the previous row. Okay, skipping over those two double crochets and placing your shell in this single crochet. Okay, again, skipping the next two double crochets and making your shell in a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that all the way across and I will meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm gonna make my last shell in this single crochet right before the right before the final shell of the previous row. Okay, so I'm gonna make my shell in that single crochet from the previous row. And then at the end, similar again to the foundation row, you're gonna skip the final two double crochets. And in this single crochet from the previous row, you're just gonna place one single crochet. So at the end of every row, your final stitch is just gonna be one single crochet in that last stitch rather than a complete shell. Okay, and there's row two. So let's go ahead and do one more row together. So I'm gonna chain one and turn. And again, this row, the third row is gonna be a repeat of row two. So I'm starting off with a shell in my very first stitch. Okay, so one right here. You're gonna place a single crochet and two double crochets for our shell. Skipping over those next two double crochets and placing our shell in this single crochet right here, the little, kind of the little divot there. Okay, skipping over the two double crochets and placing your shell in the single crochet. So go ahead and make your way to the end of the row and I'll meet you there and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, making my last shell in this final single crochet right before the end of the row. And I'm gonna end my row with a single crochet in the very last stitch of the row there, which was the last single crochet, of the, or the first single crochet of the previous row. Okay, chain one and turn. All right, so it's really coming together now. You can see the texture. And that is the one row repeat that you're gonna do for your entire piece.